everyone. Today I am going to be dehydrating watermelon. Also, just a note that um, I'm having some issues of uploading my videos off of iMovie. So I'm just going to do this all in one swoop for you. So, because I'm not going to be able to edit it or anything like that. So, wish me luck. Alright, let's get ready. Of course I have some watermelon. It's just easy peasy. This is my compost thing. And here's some watermelon already sliced up. Okay. Alright. You need to have it at least a quarter of an inch. Or if it's too thin, it won't, it'll taste more like fruit leather than anything. Slice some more up. Okay. And here's my other watermelon. I don't know why the skin is yellow. Maybe it got cross pollinated with something else. I mean, that's a possibility. One time I had a lab and I was growing cucumbers and watermelon together and she knocked both the piles together and my watermelon tasted like a cucumber. So maybe that's, this is what it is, is a watermelon cucumber because <laughs> I was growing both again. I'm a sucker for labs as you can tell as Diesel's watching me. Just cut it up as best you can. Oop, more skin. There's that. You can de-seed them with a the spoon, but for some reason these don't really have seeds in them and I tasted a couple of them yesterday and they tasted fine they didn't really taste bad at all still tasted like a watermelon crust between a watermelon and a cucumber I guess that's what happened the watermelon had little spikes on it like cucumbers did you know back in back in the day <laughs> When my first lab cross pollinated him. Okay. Diesel, do you want some? Yeah. Sit. Sit pretty. Ah. You know, you took it, you turd. All right. Ready? Sit pretty. Good boy. All right. Ooh, get these flies off. Okay. And on your trays, let's put the towels on them so flies won't get them. Okay. On your trays, these are my dehydrating trays. Just lay them down, of course. It'll take up to 12 hours or so on 135 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's Fahrenheit. It's one tray. With the skins, or the rind of the watermelon, you can pickle them. Some people pickle them. Some people just feed them to their uh, chickens. I will do that eventually. Um, I still have to look up some recipes to pickle them, but 
I'm kind of leery on that one. But, um, or at the compost pile or whatever you want to do. It's still edible, this white skin I read. And I, I don't know why. Maybe it's not didn't get pollinated enough. I'm not sure. But bon appetit. Mmm. Nothing like watermelon on a hot summer day. Oh, wait a minute, it's fall. I I did dehydrate some last night to show you what it looks like. See? It's like this shriveled up. This was about 12 hours on 135. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. I hope. Oh, that's real sweet. Ooh, that's good. Um, I hope you enjoy this short little video. I'm sorry I couldn't edit it for you and add some music or whatever like I normally do. But I will get that fixed eventually. Um, I just need Warren home to help me with that. I'm not a computer whiz at all. But anyways, we'll do what we gotta do. I'm trying to make these videos for you. And thank you for watching and see y'all soon. Mm. Mm. I taste like a cucumber. Interesting. <laughs>